Hi everyone, Julia here with my first YouTube video and I'm going to be altering these letters that I, um, they're like letterpress letters sets that I got from the dollar store. Actually my friend Nicole Wright uh, bought me this set after I saw her do her project. Um, I'll put a link to her blog down below so you can see what she did with hers. They are gorgeous. And then I was at the dollar store near my house and I found this Joyeux Noel. So I'll be altering these today and I will show you um, my process on how I would do that. Now I am going to use the word Christmas, I'm going to use the word joy, and I'm going to use Noel. I'm not going to use these letters. I'm actually going to be using these to uh, do like a mini uh, winter scene that will go back in between the joy and the Noel and then this will have like trees and snowflakes and the Tim Holtz paper dolls and such and um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, let's get started. So that's it for the backs and the sides. I'm going to um, go now and uh, dry these and then I'm going to flip them over and we're going to start working on the front. Okay, so um, the sides and the backs are dry. So now I'm going to apply my stain to the front. Um, I've got stain on some of the letters. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to be painting those after, so I'm not too concerned. Um, but I am going to use a brush to apply the stain um, onto the front and onto the sides of the letters. You can see I've done it on the inside there. And I'm going to do that on all of them and then we will continue on. Okay. So all my staining is done. Now I'm going to go and make sure that everything is dry and then we'll be back to um, do the painting. So after my uh, stain was dry, I went and took my sanding block, went over my letters just to kind of smooth them out and get off some of the stain that had uh, that I got on there. And next I'm going to take some gesso, put some in the this lid and you can see on the word joy I have put two coats of, of gesso over the letters so now I'm going to go and finish off the rest of um, rest of my letters okay I'm just finishing up painting the second coat of gesso on my letters so they're turning out really well some of the stain is leaking through the gesso on some of the letters but you know what I like it I don't know I just like the look of that yeah, I'm going to be uh, using paint over it. So again, you're not really going to see that. Um, so we're going to put the gesso aside, give the letters a quick dry with the heat gun, apply our paints, and then do some distressing on that. And then I will begin working on my three little um, blank ones that I'm not going to be using. I'm ready to paint. I've chosen my colors. So for the word Christmas, I'm going to use Distress Paints in Festive Berries and Evergreen Bow. And the word Joy, I'm going to use Broken China and Wilted Violet. And the word Noel, I'm going to use Salty Ocean and Abandoned Coral.
Okay, so everything's dry, we're ready to move on. So now I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm just going to distress the edges. So you can see how um, that white gesso is, you can see the white gesso on the edges there where I've sanded. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white glue and I'm going to use um, a ruler just so I can make sure that my letters are straight. back now to finish um, my mixed media sign so uh, these are the leftover letters that I wasn't going to use I've uh, glued them together I've gessoed them uh, the tops the sides and the fronts um, I am going to use this um, collage sheet which I think was from last year's uh, Tim Holtz Christmas paper pack. I'm, I'm not certain on that because I don't have the cover anymore. I just have a few of the sheets left. So some of the colors that I chose um, were inspired by this by this paper. Okay, so put those aside. So I'm going to use a few of the paper dolls. I've got a sizal tree, which I think I'm going to spray. And then I'm going to cut out some of the paper and put the dolls on here. Super simple. And then my uh, letters will be ready to display. So let's go.